This is uh, possession number seven for O'Kearney. As we said, he's an accumulator. He just knows where to go to find the footy. Callum Moore on the break, on the burst, with a bounce through the middle of Simmons Stadium. Kicks it up long, kicks it into the pocket. Crocker's at the back. And a... say, this is what we're trying to develop here. We do our best pickers. We've got a meeting on Tuesday with all the coaches in at AFL House, and we'll just talk about where, um, I guess, where the AFL game is at the moment, and I guess the correlation between... Gone nowhere. They've only gone inside 50 once. Now they do it through Ferns. Now they go towards the goal square. Big leap at the back, oh, and they've hard. got Big Moore up there to take the mark. Why wouldn't you go there in the first place? Well, exactly my point. Just take the ball forward, knowing that you've got even number contests ahead of the football. And yes, it's great to get your hands on the footy, and it's 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 great to find space laterally. But I think what we want to see at AFL level is players that can actually win contests such as that. A, a ball gets kicked forward. Yep. Show me the players, the young men that can actually win the ball in a in a in a one on one contested marking situation. So Metro still searching for their first goal. More has let them down six behinds for metro we've got third to kick to the advantage of clark can use more more can maybe go back to clark or he can kick it to the goal square himself silvani goes back and that's a clever take by silvani and he'll have a player inside forward 50 stays at home more i think he might have done a shoulder or something uh, left arm yeah he's got a problem he's trying to get off with that shoulder issue this looks better just wheel and go much better more does that into the danger zone leonardis now throwing the ball back through the middle better kick that's straight to more he looks he looks the most likely doesn't he up forward yeah, he's yeah. Played well. and he kicks into the pocket crocker at the back oh good jump well we saw more with a good jump and now we've seen crocker right there from florenka but they're going backwards pal pepper a second attempt Numbers here for Victoria, though. Moore grabs it, straightens up, gets on his right boot, pushes the kick across the face, just to behind the distance from 50. Runs out, stutters. We see him stutter a bit. Yeah, he's hooked it. He's hooked it. Big leap. Moore! Oh, That'll do. A set play there by Vic Metro. I know there's been a fair bit spoken about with uh, Callum Moore's kicking, and we know he's got work to do. I think the clubs have come a fair way there. They understand yeah. that you can get improvement out of a player in that side, but when you can do these sorts of things, yeah. and we've seen him hit up at the footy, and he's got very, very sticky hands for a young man of, uh, of 19 years of age, so I'd be surprised if he doesn't get an opportunity. Let's see what he can do here. Tight angle, 10 metres out. Kicks truly. He's in a bit of pain. He's a little bit sore, but he's kicked the goal. And just a mini break here for Victoria. Well, he's taken the two best marks of the day, hasn't he? He took the one at the other end in the first quarter, and uh, the second quarter, I should say. And, yep. and that one there was an absolute beauty. Turned the body with the ball, and the ball drop was much better. And I don't know whether that was because his leg was a bit sore, but a nice finish. Shows real promise. He does, and from a recruiting perspective, I mean, to be able to see tall forwards lead up at the ball as well as take contested marks like that, so it starts to get you a little bit excited. No. A little short on here. From... He goes into the pocket. Got to be Gee, two, but he again. does attack the footy more, doesn't he? It was a nice kick in too. He didn't have much room for error there, O'Kearney. And I know he's not a prodigious kick of the footy, uh, but geez, his, his use is very, very smart. He Rarely turns it. it over. 23 disposals now, O'Kearney. And, you know, you're watching at home, you're thinking, well, that's nothing compared to what they do in the AFL. They're only 20-minute quarters, no time on. This is the big drop. difference. More. Needs it to come back. Slides across the face. Bettison off his left, found his target. So this is the first promising move forward here for Victoria. It's Moore, who Kevin mentioned. Playing with a little bit of... Sp Backs himself. Good play. Yeah, ran it hard, got it over to Moore. Ooh, Dummies, yeah. and look at him go here. Moore takes the bounce, accelerates, but just too much on the kick. Just a little bit too much on the kick. Francis backed himself to try and mark it. Out of bounds just before Moore could get the kick away. Francis d does do that. He does read the ball. Clearing kick there from Thompson. Over the top of Moore. Now he's got it and he's going to take, take on his opponent. He's got some athletic ability, hasn't he? You can't get rid of... He looked up, though. He saw Aaron Francis across half-back. That's the reason he just stopped and propped and paused for a second. Yep. Great pressure. They've won it back though, Victoria. And good talking from Moore. He calls out O'Kearney. He called out Clark. Now he kicks it in long. One-on-ones here. 
Over the back, Collins. Can he get boot to ball? Francis gets it. Got into a bit of a hole. He's not sure where to go. Just pulls the kick a little bit. It's a good lead. It's a good kick, and it's more. I like, what I like about Moore is he, he does jump early. Yeah, springy, isn't he? He's very, very springy. He's very athletic. His kicking was a bit off the other day at Geelong. But well, hard to know where it was going to go at Geelong, wasn't well, it? Well, it was a windy old day, but uh, no real excuses here. Just got to dodge a few seagulls and he's away. Because they have come in from everywhere. <laughs> they have come in late. He's inside 50, gives it plenty, gives it a big roost, and gives it a correct roost. Goal to Moore. Goal, Victoria. Back to one kick game again. There's a lot. To, I know you like him, Kevin, because you know that sort of lead up and present and then finish like that. If he keeps his kicking going well, he's going to be a player. I think we're all full of optimism when we're looking for players, aren't we? And yeah, kicking has been a little bit of an issue for him. But uh, gee, I love all the other parts to his game: his size, athletic, his running ability, his natural hands in the air. And uh, look. He can I think he can improve that kicking. Oh, Maybe the, be a hand passing player that the, might hand the, pass more than he kicks. That's a bit to go with there. That's not the worst kicking action. No, it's just a little bit with the right hand drop. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that'll be, that's drop. fixable, Sandro. Yeah. Suppliers at the back, they might need to be quick. Oh, oh, didn't get boots ball holding the ball. Victoria can hit the front with this kick. What a comeback this has been by Metro. The big fly was from Aaron Francis. Uh, unfortunately, didn't take it. Should just punch. Pickers. Well, he could have taken that out. He could have punched that ball with the right. He had all the way out of bounds. Yeah, he could have punched it a mile. But now, we'll look at the right hand drop here yes. from Callum Moore. Nah, back in the the test. Back in him in. Fantastic tackle. Great tackle. Coach Reward of that forward pressure. To put Victoria in front for the first time oh. of the game. Okay. Still plenty of time. Plenty of time.